D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, this hold on well thermostat. Long due for an upgrade. this thermostat right here. So I'll be installing this. Right there. Okay, so the problem is, in this situation, there is no C wire. Okay, no C wire. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna create a C wire without an extra wire okay so stay tuned for that no C wire no problem now just so you know uh, you can see this thermostat here uses battery so don't need to use any C wire with that but this thermostat here no batteries included you need to have a C wire. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so here's my transformer. And this is my 24 volts hot. I just basically, this wire goes to RC. Right, this wire right here goes to RC. And this other side, the blue wire See, the blue wire is, the, is my common, or my C, the C wire. Okay, so let me zoom in. So the blue wire is the C wire, C are the common. This is 24 volts hot, or you can call it RC. So you see what I did right here? I just take a piece of wire, connected it to the C, Actually, it says C on the block right here, a little, a little control board. Yeah, so that's my C. So I take a wire, splice it with the wire nut, right? Make a splice right here. And then I just take that and bring it over to the chassis ground, right? So now C is ground. Now, before you do this, you got to make sure and that <clears throat> your uh, the 24 volts har or 24 volts hot is not is isolated. You know, just like you can see right here. This is the oh, this is the 24 volts har. Let me see if I can zoom right in on the board. <clears throat> see that's R and R is just connected straight to the transformer and to the board transformer right here and to the board right here and then goes back into my thermostat right that's it so you can once that is once it's like that because if you connect this one if this is connected to the ground and then you put this to the ground it's a dead short so bear in mind make sure it's your 24 volts um r r r c is you know isolated and only go to your control board and to your thermostat and then you just take the other side of the transformer which is going to be your c and do exactly what i did right here let's go to the thermostat and i'm going to show you that i have 24 volts now here's a look at the thermost sub base and clearly you could see that there is no c the c wire is not terminal is not even there all right, so we got RC, which is the yellow wire, connected to the yellow wire back at the unit. All right, so what I did, I make the shield of the, uh, or the chassis ground of the unit, the common or the C. So if I take one of my test leads and put it here. Uh, hold on, let me get myself situated. Okay. So my test lead is on the, the ground, the box, the electrical box behind the thermostat that use that's behind the thermostat. 
that's the electric box or electrical electrical box and so here is the that's one lead over there i'm gonna go over here and put this on rc all right rc and then go to my test my meter so i have 24 volts power so all i'm going to do i'm going to connect one wire to the box right here secure it with a screw to the box and that's going to be my c for my new thermostat so that's how you do it um you know so if you didn't understand what i did let me go, go over it again so basically what i'm doing i'm using the the shield the shell of the bx or the wire as as a as a wire i'm using this as a wire so as i connect this wire to here this this wire one goes back to my boiler and one goes to my thermostat and so you can see that you know it's connected to the chassis and so this is connected to the chassis and so explain how i got my c after my thermostat now i'll be back i'll be back once i finished <clears throat> you know setting this new thermostat in and show you the finished product okay okay so <clears throat> here's what's in the box This is what comes it comes it is what comes in the box. You got a, a manual right here. It's a manual. The thermostat. You got a sub sub base. Sub based. Mounting screws. This is the uh, remote sensor, a room sensor, temperature sensor. You don't have to use this by the way if you don't want to um, this here has a motion detector on it right here so it's also a couple of the temperature sensor and it has a motion detector so occupancy sensor right this is a motion detector but if, if you you do this you don't have to use if you don't want to you can leave this out if you if you don't want to use this you don't have to this has a sensor in there as well already, a built-in temperature sensor in the actual thermostat, right? So, a battery, uh, some mounting apparatus. <clears throat> this here is the. Uh, C wire adapter. Now, in my case, I will not be using this. Okay, we don't need this. All right, this here shows you how to connect the C wire adapter and. Uh, I won't be doing that right now. Okay. <clears throat> so So as you could see, this black wire right here, this black black wire is the C wire and is connected to the electrical box. All right? So now I'm going to put a blank cover over here, blank cover here, 
and then put my thermostat down here. Let me get this thing zoomed out. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so as I could see, at the sub top, the blank electrical box cover, box cover installed. And there's the thermostat sub base. See, so you have a black wire and terminal C. And you all know where I got the black wire from. That's my C, where I got my C from. Oh, I got my C. So now all I gotta do is close this up and um, pop my thermostat on. Now it's got to go turn the AC unit on. Oh, power was live, so came on. Thought I had my power off, but power was on. Here it is. Here it is. We're live. Okay. I'm going to do a quick setup based on my settings here. Um, you'll do it to your likings uh, when you install it for you in your application and this video um, this is D2DNY real world HVAC simplified this video is for a pro however do it yourselfers not for you okay you can watch this for entertainment or for information but uh, this video is not meant for a, a, a DIY it's for pros only or beginners so let me go ahead and set this up get started take this thing okay that's better get the lights off because I can okay see that's better Okay, English. This is bedroom. Master bedroom for on height. No, I am not using that adapter. So this is if you are using that adapter right there. The C wire adapter. But in, in my case, I did a workaround. I did a hack. Right, so I don't have to use that. Okay. So, this is referring to this device right here. I didn't use that. Okay. Didn't use that device. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, I'm going to go no. Okay. This is where you're going to add your remote sensor. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the batteries in there and go ahead and do it. Okay, so I have my batteries installed and you can see the green light was flashing. So let me go and add device. I'm going to click add device. Okay, bunch of kids in the house making a bunch of noise. But, um, what does it say there? Okay, I already did that. Battery is already in. Press next. Still focused. It says let's connect. Press the connect button. So you're gonna remove the cover. Cover is already removed. Battery is already in. Press this button right here. Okay, so it's a thick sensor up to 
make sure it's already in my hand so hit next and what do I want to name it I'm just gonna call it bedroom okay mm, guest bedroom okay and I have place to sensor let me select that next and voila done and if Wi-Fi I won't be doing that I'm leaving that for the customer but it's rather easy so set up later okay and the time and the date now, this is trivial stuff right but you get the drift I'm gonna go um, whenever uh, I got this finished set up based on my equipment and I'm ready to run it I'm running the unit I'm gonna come back stay tuned okay so I thought I'd show you guys how to you know configure for your unit so the thermo the thermostat sensor you hit this button right here and that will show you that's the master bedroom that's the sensor on the floor didn't mount it as yet but that's the sensor right there on the floor I labeled it master bedroom if you recall in this uh, actually no guest bedroom is a sensor on the floor and master bedroom is the actual thermostat here all right and as I said you get active because it is motion sense motion on that sensor as well okay let me get back out of here and show you configure the thermostat configure it for your equipment you're going to go down into a configuration and you're going to go to advance modify next next okay outdoor temperature none so we're doing <clears throat> radiant heat select that because we have radiant heat baseboard somewhere okay and we're gonna go next hot water radiant heat cool stage is only one each stage is only one I'm gonna go manual change over yes leave that okay so I'm pretty much done now that's simple that's simple go none not using that option okay that's it Okay, let's say it's done. I'm going to go fan on. On continuously. Done. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe i do upload videos on a weekly basis real world real time real hvac simplified